Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create a date picker for UI text field. Date picker is like a drop down menu. It can be formatted to be in different modes like time, date, both time and date and a timer. Here I have a sample project to show you what to expect. So here uh, we already have a text field. You click on it and this is what you get. So you don't need to like type it out and this removes uh, chances of getting like false inputs and hit done so this is what we will be creating so let's get started first of all I'll create a new Xcode project and single view application and here project name will be date picker and let's say to uh, next and create so first we will go ahead and add our text field to our storyboard so let's do that first and here object library and text field and drag and drop let's put some constraints so here horizontal in center vertically in center add and uh, click here and this will be 100 from left and 100 from right and hit enter and now open up your assistant editor and link the text field so control drag and let's call it uh, we can say date let's call it age field age txt so let's say we are trying to uh, uh, let's say birth date yeah makes sense birth date and connect and close the assistant editor and now open up a view controller so click here and we don't need this we don't need this uh, okay fonts bigger here and let's get started so we need a variable called date picker and date picker and this will be of type UI date picker and go ahead and create a function so it will be create date picker view uh, just date picker is fine and here so our uh, input like uh, let's go back uh, and let me show you here so our this is just a replacement of a keyboard right uh, so we need to add this done button and actually it's a, like a toolbar and this is a bar button item so let's do that so first create a toolbar and this will be let toolbar equal to UI toolbar and open close and this will be toolbar dot size to fit so that it fits the full screen and another thing we need to do is create the done button so uh, bar button and let uh, done btn equal to ui bar button item and open parentheses and this will be of type done and target will be nil and for now let's just keep action as nil but eventually we will add some uh, some code over there and now we need to assign the toolbar to the keyboard so it will be assign toolbar and this will be date uh, pick, uh, oh it's birth date text dot input input accessory view and this will be a toolbar and now we need to assign uh, our date picker to the text field and let's do that and this will be birth date text dot input view is equal to date picker and that's it so don't forget to call the function in your view did load. So we will say create date picker and let's run and see what happens. So this is not, this is my previous work. So here is the new one and click here. We get the date picker. Oh, okay. We forget to add the done button to the toolbar. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we will say toolbar dot set item. And here we will pass in our done button. And animated will be true and let's run again and see so okay we got this and we have the done button so let's go ahead and make the done button work and here we'll make the changes so let's say funk done pressed and so pass in this over here selector and this will be done pressed and so uh, I'm using Swift 5, so I need to do this. Add 
at objc to expose the instance method to object c and fix it so it will add this stuff over here so we need to do two things when done is pressed we will assign the selected date to our text field and we will close the input view okay so let's go ahead and first assign the text to our text field and this will be text equal to string interpolation and here goes our date picker dot date and we will say self dot view dot end editing and this will be true and let's run and see okay so click and I select Monday February 3 and hit done okay so here we we can see that we get the date but uh, it does not look good and let's say we you don't want time and all this extra stuff and as it is birth date we don't really care too much about our uh, the time right so let's do some formatting over here first we'll make the date picker to just show dates okay so for uh, date picker mode and this will be date picker dot input mode uh, no just just type in mode and you will say date picker mode and here so it's an enum and hit a dot you can see some options so here we have four options countdown timer date date and time and time so just go ahead and select dot date and so this will just make changes uh, let me show you so run the uh, app again so build succeeded and okay when you go here and select this okay you just see the date and you select it but you still get the time and stuff so we need to format the text so let's go ahead and do that and we do that when done is pressed so here first create a formatter and let's say let formatter equal to date formatter open close and say formatter dot date style equal to dot medium I like medium and formatter dot time style is none because we don't need it and the way you use this formatter is so we need the string so here we will say formatter dot string from date and date will be date picker dot date and run the app okay so you go ahead uh, click here you select the date and hit done uh, but now it's left aligned I like it centered so let's just make that small change over here and here we will make the text field changes so let's just say date picker oh birthday text dot text oh no dot alignment so it will be dot text oh my god dot text alignment and this will be dot center and that's it let's run the app and see okay here it is and hit done so go ahead and play around with all the different modes and if you have any questions you can post them in the comments i can make i can go ahead and make some other video for that uh, if you like my video don't forget to hit like and subscribe for future videos until next time